Hey guys, welcome back to GeekJ, where we make tech, tutorials and gaming simpler and better. Today we're unlocking higher frame rates on engine locked games like 30 or 60 FPS using, you guessed it, lossless scaling, perfect for high refresh rate monitors. Let's dive into the Binding of Isaac Repentance. Not gonna lie you guys, The Binding of Isaac has been one of my favorite games of all time. And yes, it has pixel art, the gameplay is amazing, replayability is amazing as well. Everything is so good in this game. But let's first check out the default. So Isaac is engine locked at 60 FPS. It's fine for 60 Hz monitors, but on my Acer 165 Hz gaming monitor, it looks kind of choppy. Like I'm so used to it that it just doesn't really cut it anymore and uh, you know there are those quick enemy shots and uh, sometimes they just snipe you from very far away and uh, that shot is like super fast and uh, because it's not that smooth it's a 60 fps your reaction time kind of you know gets hampered by that hard lock on 60 fps basically and there were some mods that tried to fix this but they are either completely broken and not working anymore or they just speed up the game in general so it's for example if you just want to go from 60 to 120 uh, fps uh, the game speed is uh, doubled so that's not cool you don't want that in your game you're just gonna keep dying all the time So I have my controller here, we're gonna launch the game in its default state and I'm gonna show you how this looks and how it performs. Let's go with a new Isaac run because this is the binding of Isaac. So yeah, as you can see in the uh, Steam metrics on the lower left side of the screen, we do get the 60 FPS locked experience. Let me just go into the treasure room and uh, yeah, let's see. So yeah, it's not just the quick shots, but anytime you need a quick reaction or something. Yeah, it does look okay, but uh, you know, this is a high refresh rate monitor and I've been using it for every game I'm playing. The higher the refresh rate, the better. So, you know. This doesn't feel so good. Yeah. Even here, it's not that great. Ooh, a soul heart. Thank you very much. Okay, so we got the version that this guy is not gonna suit that much. Uh, bullets, I mean, but he's just gonna spew a lot of uh, different flies. But that's fine. Because the flies he's spewing, once we kill them, they're very pesky because some of them, they just uh, do suit their shot. And uh, yeah, moves pretty quickly. You, you kind of have to be prepared for it. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. So that was the first floor. I don't think I'm going to keep the whole thing into the video, but yeah, let's uh, exit out of the game and uh, let's see what options do we have to fix this. So yeah, enter a lossless scaling. We downloaded from their own uh, website or directly from Steam. Both of those uh, locations just link you to the Steam store and uh, we just run it and then we run our game and uh, we click scale and boom, it just doubles our frame rate to 120 uh, frames per second. And this looks amazing on my 165 uh, Hertz monitor. Input latency uh, is supposedly a little bit increased. It's inconceivable. Like I just uh, became better in the game because it feels so much smoother and you can see where 
the shots are traveling, you basically have, uh, you know, a lot more visual input, uh, to put it simply. But just a fair warning to you guys, I don't know how this is going to work on your systems, but I would suggest you stick to uh, two times frame generation. Uh, adaptive or higher uh, tends to look or get weird visually. You get artifacts and uh, like uh, ghost images that stay on your screen for some reason and stuff. And there is a lot of uh, latency. So a lot of negative vibes there if you catch my drift. Uh, but yeah. 2x keeps it crisp and extremely smooth no visual artifacts i didn't have any other problems so now those sniper shots and stuff they feel a lot more dodgeable uh, the game runs smoother i have better control and uh, it's basically high refresh rate heaven so let's check it out okay the game is running right now and in the background i have lossless scaling i'm gonna click scale here and then i'm gonna click back on the isaac window and you'll see when it uh, actually you know works it's gonna make it look like it's full screen but it's gonna keep my um setting of the windowed mode and i like it this way because i get to have the uh menus on the left and right to show on the uh, black side of the screen instead of you know in my face and as you can see uh, steam is reporting on the uh, bottom left that it's 60 fps and then on the top left you can see it is doubling it lossless scaling is doubling it so let's go on to the next floor obviously youtube is um gonna show us a 60 fps experience so i don't know how it's gonna translate uh on your screens guys but this feels a lot more smoother than the 60 fps uh locked experience that you know we're kind of forced to have Ooh, poopies and in the poopies we found gold <laughs> never know Ooh, ooh, yeah, I like this. It's so smooth. Yeah, the gameplay is just feeling very, very smooth. Um, yeah, let's exit out of our game. And basically, that's it, Isaac fans. Boost your engine locked games with lossless scaling. It doesn't have to be only for Binding of Isaac. Obviously, you can use lossless scaling for like almost everything on this uh, good earth. And if this smooths out your gameplay, smash that like button, subscribe, and don't forget to click on that bell to never miss another GeekJ video. And obviously, drop a comment with your FPS jump and which game you use lossless scaling that was engine locked to a specific frame rate and uh, loss of scaling kind of, you know, took it to the next level. So yeah, stay geeky and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.